Hey guys, what's poppin'? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Sierra Sage. If you're new here, hey sis, hey, welcome to the fam. Make sure to subscribe before you leave today's video. But as you guys can see, we're in a different setup. Okay, y'all. I've been gone for like a week and a half. But don't worry about it. <laughs> okay, because I'm back. I'm back on schedule. I promise. And today we're gonna be talking about weight loss, body image, the whole nine, how I snap back whenever I like <laughs> get out of control. <laughs> All that cute stuff. So basically, I'm gonna show you guys how to get from this to that in about two-ish weeks. Okay, so yeah, let's go. So basically, if you're new to my channel, my weight kind of fluctuates all the time, right? So sometimes I'm looking very petite, sometimes I'm looking very like stuffed, okay? But my weight never really stays the same. I weigh about 155 pounds. It never really goes up too high. The most I think I've ever been in my life is like 165. And then the lowest I think about was like 130 in my life. I've never been super small or super big ever. <laughs> so yeah, so I'm gonna tell y'all five tips and hacks that I've used to go and get like a little bit of a snapback. So the first thing I'm gonna tell you guys is teas, which is also pretty good because you know, shout out to Teeny Blends for sponsoring today's video. So I'm a really big tea person, surprisingly, kind of like who don't like tea but it really helps me start my morning off really nice you know just give you a little you know extra oomph when you have an empty belly and you just drink a little bit of tea you need blends tea me skinny tea so yeah usually i'll take i'll drink the tea early in the morning when i have an empty stomach and i find that this tea really makes me feel a little bit more leaner and less bloated or any of those problems i usually get or gas in the morning i don't be having any of it i really suggest investing into a tea and i really do like tea me blends just because of the fact that it doesn't taste horrible, y'all. I literally hate strong teas. I don't know. I, I hate green tea. Fun fact. <laughs> I hate green tea. But tea me tea, um, skinny tea is definitely like a really good tea if you don't like different like, you know, tea flavors. If you're not a big tea lover, I suggest just starting with tea me skinny because it's not that bad. It really isn't. And a lot, well, a little goes a long way with the tea. So yeah, you know um i'm gonna show y'all like you know the clip of everything how it looks how to make it all that stuff right here <laughs> so i filmed this video at night time so i went to go put my tea out for the next morning all i did was put one scoop of the tea and also two sugars and a little bit of milk and you're gonna be good the hack that i use is apple cider vinegar i feel like apple cider vinegar is very popular on youtube and like in like the weight loss community because apple cider vinegar has a lot of great benefits for your body and stuff so usually what i would do I take apple cider vinegar in the morning. I don't do it every day because I feel like it's vinegar. I don't want to like do too much, but I'll just wake up in the morning right after I drink my tea, give it a couple like hours or whatever, and I'll take like a, a tablespoon full of apple cider vinegar, down that, drink some water behind it, and go on my day. I feel like apple cider vinegar definitely helps burn belly fat a lot quicker than anything else. And if you're consistent with it and you're eating while you're working out, you will definitely see results. Um, if you're like me, I hate the way apples on vinegar taste and smells. Like if it drops on the floor, I have to like clean everything down because it stinks. But there's apple cider vinegar pills. I feel like just drinking the liquid dissolves better. But you know, if you like the pill form, the pill form is definitely available. You go to like Riot or CVS to get it. But yeah, apple cider vinegar definitely helps. Number three, <laughs> I like to do a little bit of ab workout. So you guys know I hate working out. I hate the gym, I hate being sore, I hate all of the above, but I do try every now and again to do some ab workouts or some minimal workouts or, or anything that will definitely help. So I'm gonna tell you guys my workout routine right now. If you guys would like to see a workout video, that can be done as well, but what are you gonna do while you sweat and struggle? Because <laughs> all I do is sweat and struggle, okay? But um, usually I like to start with cardio. Um, so I have a jump rope. If you don't have a jump rope, invest. I don't know what it is, but jumping rope at this big age is a lot more painful than we did when we was younger, okay? But I will do five minutes of jumping rope straight, and even though five minutes sound like a little bit, y'all, them five minutes be kicking my ass, okay? So I'll jump rope for five minutes, and I go into, like, you know, doing, like, jumping jacks and stuff like that. Um, I do 20 high knees. Five fire hydrants, another round of 20 high knees, another round of five out hydrants, 
and another set of that. And then I'll go into doing my booty workouts with the resistance band and that be kicking my ass too. Just try to do a little bit of something. It doesn't even have to be long because I don't work out past 25 minutes. I don't know how I know how to be in here for an hour. I can't. I literally can't do it. I can't, okay? But um, try to do minimal workouts. I think that's like your muscles going in. And it definitely will, you know, speed up the process of it. Working out, well, getting snatched, you know, getting the way snatched is, you know, 70% eating and 30 percent working out so if you don't want to work out and you're still gonna get results but you just you know might not see it as quick which is okay if that's fine with you but i like to snap back now okay now especially if i have something to do like if i have to like you know take pictures but you guys know if you're doing this influencer stuff you gotta look good 25 8 <laughs> okay so this definitely will um help you snap back really nice if you have an event or something to go to so minimal workouts i suggest trying chloe ting's Chloe Ting is for beginners, but baby, <sighs> okay, <laughs> I'm just like, yeah, I know, prepare for the soreness, because it, it really hurts so bad, okay, it really does. Number four, so if you guys been on my channel for a while, you guys know I've tried keto before, I like keto, keto definitely gives you really good results, I'll link my video up here of my whole keto, like, um, journey that I did, like, back last summer in July, keto is good for now but it's not a long-term diet and it's really hard to keep up with and i really hate the idea of restricting yourself from a whole bunch of different things because honestly i, I wasn't too happy i mean i was looking snatched in the mirror but your girl was barely eating because what is there to eat you know i'm a meat lover i eat meat but like <sighs> i was just getting tired sometimes i just wanted to eat like some oatmeal or something or like bread like i can't not eat bread like it's just too much you feel me but um yeah i stopped doing keto but what i suggest to do is control your portion size that's really one of the biggest things that i feel like a lot of us especially americans don't understand like portion size is really big on why the fuck you're so fucking big okay let's be real okay so um you guys know in the dish set that standard dish get a dish just half of that you know and eat the same way and make sure you fill the plate up and you eat until you're full. Stop overeating. Once you feel full, put the fork down. You don't have to eat anymore. I think doing this definitely helps you um, monitor your eating. And you'll really realize the weight coming off without doing too much. Just stop taking in so much. I don't really think it's what you're eating a lot of the times, how much of it. And, you know, how long you've been eating it too. Like, you know, I know people who've been eating unhealthy since they was like kids. And, like, it hasn't changed at all. And now, like, you know yeah <laughs> you know so yeah i really think portion size matters more than anything and number five the last and final tip get your water in get your water in for a bit like get your water in i feel like the more you're you're um drinking water the more your body's constantly going and going and going you're constantly peeing constantly letting things out of your body your metabolism will slowly start to peak a little bit if you're continuously drinking your water and making sure that you're hydrated a lot of times i know drinking water is so cliche with these little videos but i promise y'all it really matters if you don't like water squeeze a lime or something an orange squeeze something in there it'll help you get it down because it really is important. I try to drink at least four water bottles a day. Eight cups of water a day, I think, and that's four water bottles. So, yeah, I try my hardest to get it in and get it out, okay? So, that's basically, like, all of my tips and hacks that I have for you guys. Oh, wait, hold on. Bonus tip. If you have a waist trainer or a sweat belt, try to wear it about three to four hours a day. Um, I definitely seen the difference when I started wearing my sweat belt, like, like clockwork even when i'm lounging at home we're not even working out i try to like you know wear my stuff out i don't know what it is it just kind of gives you that i don't know it's really nice um yeah uh you go know, i'll link this a waist trainer down below in the description box if you guys need a good one um yeah i really have good experiences with waist trainers if you guys want to see my waist training my waist training journey i could do that if you guys yeah, if you're interested, be interested, okay? So, yeah. But to sum that all up, like I said, I mean, a lot of y'all understand that we're women who go through a lot of shit, and our body changes every day. It's okay. It's okay. Don't worry about it, okay? There's nothing to snap back. You can get it done. Some of the times are in the corner. Get right. Look nice. Stay tight. Period. <laughs> okay? And I'll see you guys in my next video.